Hey what's up guys, so in today's video I'll be reviewing my 50mm prime lens which is a great entry lens. But before I continue I must disclose that I use my camera purely for video. So this review will be completely based off that. Anyways, most cameras come with a kit lens and those kit lenses are okay. But there's definitely some better lenses out there. Sure, some are rather expensive, but which are the ones that you should naturally go for first? That's where this lens comes in. But before I discuss on why I recommend this lens, there's a few things you should know about it. This is a prime lens, meaning that it doesn't provide any optical zoom. And that can be limiting for certain things. And it basically means that you will be repositioning your camera constantly. Also, this lens was made for full frame sensor and not for a crop sensor. And it will work on both with zero quality loss. It's just important to mention that objects will look slightly zoomed. Basically, you'll go from this to this. Also, keep in mind that both were shot at the same distance, again, with no quality loss. It's just something to keep in mind. Plus, I think it's good to invest in a full frame compatible lens. So in the future, when you do decide to buy a full frame camera, this lens will work flawlessly. DSLRs with crop sensors are generally less expensive. So when you do decide to upgrade in the future, the lens will transition over. So to summarize, cameras with crop frame sensors will accept both full and crop frame lenses but full frame cameras will only work on full frame lenses. Now, if you don't know what sensor size your camera has, I will strongly suggest that you do a quick Google search to determine the best option for you. In terms of the materials used on the lens itself, well, it's just hard plastic. So it does feel kind of cheap, especially when you're trying to focus using the focus ring. But other than that, it performs like a champ. So it's just something to keep in mind. But in any case, this lens will work with both full and crop sensors. And one of the main reasons why I bought this lens was because of the aperture of 1.8, which makes everything look super sharp and amazing. So if you are thinking about making YouTube videos and you find yourself needing more light, maybe this lens can make up for the lack of light. At least that's why I bought it. Plus, the lens isn't very expensive. Of course, this lens can only push so far, but I think it's a great natural first step. Here's some footage of some of the videos that I made with this lens. And by the way, the camera that I'm using is the Canon Rebel T3i. And also, if you guys want to see more 50mm lens footage, I'll provide a link down below. Because basically, this is the lens that I use for all my latest videos. It's just that good. Also, if you guys are interested in the lens itself, I'll provide a link down below to that as well. And well guys, happy filming. And remember, that it's not what you shoot with, but how. So go out there and start filming. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.